Are you ready to break the chains of poverty over your life? What a doctor has to remedy. The book, The Ten Commandments of Black Economic Power, is here right now. Written by the People Scholar, Finance PhD, Dr. Boyce Watkins. Also, buckle your seatbelt because summer 2023, B1, the movie, is about to launch. You definitely don't want to miss that. And here's what you all been waiting for. The all-black national convention is making a stop in Atlanta. That's right. We coming to the A. October 2023. Make sure you go to boycewalkins.com to get your tickets or we'll have the link in the description box as well. And if you're about your money, like you better be, right? I need everybody, everybody to text the word stock to the number 3199. It don't look good. Right. It don't look good. Yeah, so it is what it is, man. Um, R. Kelly, man. I'm, I'm going I'm to uh, end on this unless yeah. you got something else. Nah. You know, he's he getting royalty checks, which I didn't think he was getting... I knew he was getting it, but you know, not for that much. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, he his royalties now are going to the victim, the judge orders. Um, R. Kelly and Universal Music Group have to sell out more than five hundred thousand dollars in fines and restitutions to his victims. How do you feel about that? Um, seems like a very easy money grab. The first thing that kind of stands out to me is five hundred k in royalties. Right. For somebody that was canceled, nobody listens to his music. God <laughs> damn, he got a lot of royalties coming man, in. Man, that's playing. I joined the wedding, boy. That joined is R. Kelly's the man, come yo. On, come on. That's the and half dying. the people probably watch the damn documentary and all that, and they still that's listening to the that, music. That side to side. Like, come, on, come on, now. <laughs> He's making money hand over fist still. Yeah. So this situation, it this in particular, I ain't talking about the case, and we're not talking about guilty or innocent right now. We've done this at nauseum. This situation in particular looks like a money grab. Yeah. A money grab. I would go out on let me say they raping R. Kelly. Mm. Like, I mean, why does he gotta pay victims? For what? Like he's sitting in jail already. Right. He's like that's in jail. That, that's come on, man. That's that man's money. Like, but unfortunately we see this happening too much, too much over and over. But a lot of people feel like R. Kelly was railroaded. I'm I'm gonna be real. I said this a million times over. Um I don't know. I can't really say he was or wasn't. I, I ain't get too deep into the case like that. Maybe one day I'll really dig into it. They didn't really have it like on TV like some of these other cases. That would have been pretty dope. Mm -hmm. We got to see the testimony and stuff like that from different people. But um, yeah, it's, it's just a it's a sad situation for the victims and R. Kelly. I, I'll just put it like that. Yeah, we don't know what happened. Um, I think that they give the impression that he was out here being a monster to 10, 11 year old little girls. Right. And he wasn't. Um, whether or not he was messing with 17 or 18 year olds remains to be seen. He did like them young from what people were saying. And 18, as taboo as that is, I wouldn't mess with an 18 year old at 39 years old, but it's not illegal. Right. Um, taboo, but not illegal. So it's just a, it's a slippery slope. People still bring up Aaliyah, and I, I have no argument to that. But at the same time, I don't feel like he was out here being the monster that they created and painted him out to be. Right. So it, 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 that situation is crazy. Yeah, definitely. Um, Reggie Bush, last thing. How you feel about him suing the NCAA, man? Happy as hell. I'm happy as hell. He deserves every penny. He deserves his Heisman back. Reggie Bush was the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real in song. USC during his time in college. He put college football on the map during his years there. Yeah. They were selling his jerseys. They were selling his image. They made millions of dollars at USC. And because he got a couple dollars that he deserved, they took everything from that brother, and he deserves every penny back. If Johnny Manziel <laughs> can do what he did and still sit there with his Heisman drinking beers and selling autographs, Reggie Bush deserves his Heisman back. Yeah, get that man his shit. And, and probably made hundreds of millions. Yep. Not just millions. Facts. You know, um, that college football makes so much money. Some programs probably make more than NFL programs. Yep. That's how serious it is. I mean, these stadiums, 100,000, 120,000 people yep. that fill brim to brim every week. They got merchandise, parking, all that shit. Yep. The NFL got. Um, so, yeah. And if they it wasn't got, for yeah. Reggie Bush, Pete Carroll still wouldn't be at the Seahawks. Pete yeah. Carroll was doing his thing in New, New England. He got fired from the NFL. He went to USC. Reggie Bush revitalized that man's career. Yep. Got caught up in some shit. He dipped off to Seattle, had an illustrious career. Reggie Bush had to pay for all of it. That man created more jobs and opportunities for people than they could imagine. He deserves every penny yep. that they took from him. Yep. I hope he's suing for like $100 million to get every penny of Word it, man. Up. That's the one thing about 
you know, America, as much people say that it's, you know, unjust and stuff, you can get justice in certain instances. And I'm hoping Reggie Bush gets that. Yep, indeed. Yeah. But yeah, man, another episode of the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast is in the books. We definitely appreciate, you know, everybody listening into what we had to say today. Um, stay tuned because we got some changes real soon and um, we want to bring you guys back a live show. Probably start sometime in the fall and winter. Dope. Just really get back to, you know, I'm um, doing what we do. So um, I appreciate y'all. That's your brother, Sam Man, for our hip-hop news. I'm your brother, Oh God. Hip-hop news uncensored together with the Hip-Hop Uncensored podcast. Over and out.